Hey folks, how are you? <clears throat> Rick here with Hit Run Candlesticks. Um, today's date is Thursday, May 20th, 2021. It's uh, The market closed about 15 minutes ago, and uh, I want to get this uh, video out there so you have a chance to take a look at some of these charts. First, let's start with the market a little bit. Um, the SPY is acting pretty good here. Uh, you know, we from this high, what, what was this, uh, May 10th, all the way down to the 50-period moving average. We moved up with a failed high and then back down to the 50-period moving average, and then up we went again. Now, we closed off these highs, which the market, the, the candle today, the price action today, was really, really good until just the last few minutes. And a little bit of a sell-off the last few minutes, that makes sense. You know, I, I'm, I'm good with that. Um, we're above the T-line. I think that's something positive. And the trendicator, that's the dots, the red and dot, red and green dots you see there. Uh, the trendicator turned green. So that puts me in kind of a bullish attitude now. I want to change. This is a daily chart. Here's a two-day chart. And look at this candle pattern. This is a uh, what we call a Fig Newton candle pattern, uh, bullish day, and then not so bullish, and then bullish day. And the two bullish days surround the not so bullish, like a Fig Newton cookie. Um, that's a nice chart pattern. We start to see follow through on this, and we'll just put it above this candle, the body here. We start to see follow through, and by golly, we could have something... Uh, cooking here. Of course, of course, if we see weakness, then that's not going to be so good. Uh, weakness to the downside, you know, we certainly don't want to be breaking down uh, below there, below the 50. That could set us up to move lower. So we'll keep our eyes on it. As long as we hold the T line and the trend indicator, I'm going to remain uh, to the bullish side now. Take a look at the Qs. Yipes. Look at this thing. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Uh, we've got a low, a high, a higher low, or double bottom. They're both in the same category to me. Um, and now we have a breakout of this high right in here. So we have a bullish W pattern setting up here, right there. Nice bullish W pattern. Boom. Breaking out. Challenging the 50-period moving average right there. And... Uh, Great close today. I truly think that's a good close. So what we're going to need to see is continuation. A little bit of a rest would make sense. You know, I'm not going to get all bearish just on a little bit of a rest. But what we don't want to do is start moving back down into this downtrend right there. And one of the things I'm going to look for is price action and the T-line. So Take this price action here. See how we're below the T-line? This price action below the T-line. And all this is below the T-line. Here's the T-line right there. And you can see we're below the T-line. So if we close back below the T-line, it's just going to continue that, that move to the downside that we've seen. So that's something I'm going to be watching pretty closely. An inside day, perfectly fine. Long as we hold the T-line. Below the T-line... Well, that could get a little dicey. So right now, I think all is pretty good. Hey, I want to remind everybody that, um, one, uh, if you're interested in a trial, we do have a link below. It is $49 a month. But with that, you get, a, um, you get uh, the app uh, to set up alerts for uh, when we buy something or if I like something, I'll post it out there. Of course... You know, you've got to decide if it's a, a worthy trade for you just because we buy it or somebody else buys it doesn't mean it's a good trade for you. So you've got to use your own judgment there. Uh, but you will get those alerts, and they're sent out real time. Um, also, for uh, a very short period of time here, uh, what we're also going to do is um, this is for any new members, okay? So if you're a trial member now, and you upgrade to a membership, uh, or you just become a member. Um, I worked this something out with Ed and Live Trading Alerts that I'm going to buy you your first month of 
uh, live trading alerts. If you don't want to keep it after that, you certainly don't have to, but that's a $97 value and uh, you get your first month and I'll help you set it up. Uh, so no problems there. Anyway, let's look at some charts. So laser, I'm kind of liking what laser's doing. Um, I like the fact laser's trying to break out here. I like the fact it's challenging the 50 period moving average. What I'm going to need to see on laser is, whoops, there we go, is a little bit of, you know, I, it doesn't really have to have follow through, but it does need to rest in here. So it can go from today's candle to a rest. And then what we're going to look for are those buyers to step in. And that might be our buy signal on it. And again, we'll send out alerts if we do buy something. Another one is INSG. If you're into the pinball setup, uh, this is setting up pretty good. While it is not an actual pinball setup, okay, because we we're it just it's missing one of the ingredients, and that's the the spread in here. It's missing that a little bit. Outside of that, I like what it's doing coming off the bottom. Now we're only looking for a relief rally, and right now. The relief rally I'm looking for is the 50 period moving average. So we're going to put a line right up in there like that. Now, I don't want to pay this for it. Uh, what I would do is I might uh, watch for that or wait for it, you know, the pullback in here. And then maybe it sets up for an entry. And then we can run it up to that 50 period moving average. And that gets us up into the 12% mark. So. I'm going to need to see a rest, and then we'll look at that as a trade. IQ. Now, I'm already in IQ. Uh, I bought IQ yesterday, actually, when it was up higher. It was actually looking better, and then it just took a dive on me yesterday. I'm still in it. It acted much, much, much better today. We've got a nice little bull kicker here. Nice inside day, inside the box, by box area. Uh, to me, I think this still moves up. That's why I'm holding it. And to the 34, you've got 10% up to the 50, about 26% on this. Um, we'll, I'll keep everyone posted what I'm doing with it. Uh, but this looks like a nice little uh, chart, and I like the idea of in the buy box. So very happy the way it closed today. Uh, NOK. Now, I'm also in NOK, and I closed half of it today. The reason I closed half of it today uh, was because we're approaching a little bit of resistance here. So I wanted to protect that money and put it in my pocket. So I, I took a few bills off and folded them up and tucked them away nice and safe. But on a breakout, I'm still looking for this to move up to about the 650 area. And so what I'm going to need to see at this point, you know, follow through and then We'll come back and do a little test. And if it does that, there's a chance I buy a whole new position in here or maybe just add to the current one uh, and then run it up on NOK. By the way, we did send out an alert that we closed half of our Nokia. Um, INO is another nice looking chart down here. Um, if we take INO and take a look at this little flat trading there. It's almost a um, pop out of the box setting up. Nice bottom, nice construction, nice reversal uh, candle pattern in here. We rallied up, we're consolidating now. So about the middle of the buy box up to the 50 period moving averages, a little over 17%. That wouldn't be a, a half bad run for this. So we'll see if this moves up. Uh, I'd certainly like to buy into it inside the buy box. IRM is another nice looking chart. Uh, while this is not a perfect bull kicker, um, it is a bull kicker. I mean, the wick kind of comes down, but body to body, that's a bull kicker. Here we've rallied up, we consolidated up and consolidating. We might be ready for that next leg up with or after uh, today's candle. Here's resistance. We broke out and now that becomes support. Cisco. We did buy Cisco near the close. Uh, I sent that uh, out on the app and if you received it on your app then you received uh, bought Cisco September calls 48 strike. 
uh, is what we buy, uh, is what we send out. It did close over the T-line, so that's two thumbs up. This is one heck of a belt hold that actually turned into an engulfing candle as well. Uh, we closed up over the trendicator, kept the trendicator green even on this pullback here. So uh, looking for uh, Cisco to move up a little bit higher. Here's the two-day chart on Cisco, and that's looking pretty good. Three-day chart, that looks great. So, uh, so far, I think Cisco's looking pretty sharp. The last one I have here that we're going to uh, keep track of is XL. XL has come around the bottom here, uh, rallied up, and has pulled back, created a nice little, get rid of that, nice little consolidation area here. And, you know, I, I, I can't say exactly where the buy is going to be because I can't predict what tomorrow or Monday will bring. Uh, but what I would like is something in the buy box here like that and just just assume that you know we buy it at 683 or something like that to the 50 period moving average is 20 percent not a bad little trade on that one we'll keep that one on the watch list okay thanks everybody for watching our video i appreciate it very very much remember that we have uh um remember to subscribe if you like you know, if you'd like to, you know, be part of our YouTube subscription. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. It's painless. If you're interested in that 30-day trial, click the link below. Uh, and remember, you'll be getting the alerts as well. You do have to download the app, but we'll give you the information on that. And then um, if, whether, if you're a trial member now and you upgrade to the full membership, then um, you say you'll get a copy of the scanner on us for 30 days. And uh, cool, there we go. You guys all have a great, great Thursday night. Enjoy yourself. We'll see you tomorrow.